Secret Gardens by David Belbin, and we're in one of the secret gardens, although not one of the secret gardens in the in the books, because a lot of people see the streets but don't realise there's these wonderful gardens um, behind it. Uh, for me, in some ways, it's going back into history. When Five Leaves started in 1995, uh, the first book that we published was The Allotment, Its Landscape and, its landscape and History. And we became the world's biggest publisher of books on allotments. We did that when we published our second book on allotments. Because <laughs> at that time, nobody, but nobody was interested in allotments apart from Five Leaves. We eventually published four books on allotments. And uh, they were the only books that ever made us money, so I thought it was about time to go back and say <laughs> other things. But this book's about gardens and it's about allotments. And it's about refugees. We also published a whole pile of books by refugees coming to this country. Uh, we published books by writers from all, all over the world for a period. And that was a fantastic experience. So it's good to be going back to where we started. Um, Dave's going to be talking a little about the book, but one or two, two thanks. Firstly, thank, thanks to you for coming out in, in the rain. Uh, hopefully you won't be out in the rain for the, the rest of this session, and then we'll have some cakes, many of which have been baked by Sue. So thanks to Sue for all of the cakes. The other things I should mention is that skulking in the background, actually completely turned away from us at the moment, is uh, John Clark Burke, who's the illustrator of the book. Uh, uh, John did some... We're talking about you, John. <laughs> Sorry, she just walked away from me. I can't figure out why. <laughs> uh, John did some wonderful illustrations for, for, uh, for this um, at very, very short notice, I, I have to say. Thanks, John. If you do uh, uh, buy the book or, or get a review copy or anything like that, um, it really helps if you uh, do reviews on Amazon. Uh, ev even if you don't like it, do a review. If you like it, do two reviews. <laughs> um, can't think of anything much to say. Um, Dave Belbin. Dave's been published by a number of uh, publishers, Hodder, Scholastic, uh, Barrington Stoke, and um, every two or three years by, by Five Leaves. We've published some of his adult fiction, some of his young adult fiction, and this is the first time we've published any of his books for reluctant readers. Um, Dave might explain the difference between a reluctant reader book and a straightforward uh, young adult fiction book. Anyway, book's out. Um, and a pound from... Yes. And because, um, because of the subject, we're giving... Um, the book's normally 5 99 today it's £6. And normally at a book launch you discount rather than add to the price of books. Well, we've only added a penny, but if you do buy a copy, a pound for each copy goes to the Nottingham and, and Nottinghamshire Refugee Forum Destitution Fund, which supports asylum seekers whose claims have been turned down, but the, their position is that they're unsafe. They can't go back to their country of origin because it's unsafe to do so. So there's also a donation box for the Refugee Forum Destitution Fund if you want to give more money than that as well. So, thanks. And Dave Belbin. Thanks. Thanks very much, Ross. And um, thank you also for, for publishing the book so well with my favourite illustrator hiding over there with his lovely green end papers. Uh, and um, also, when, um, when Barrington Stoke were having uh, financial difficulties, um, were forced to delay in uh, and then postpone uh, the book um, for taking it on so in such a timely fashion so that it's still able to come out in the centenary of the, uh, of the book whose title I nicked, um, Francis, Francis Hodgson Burnett's Secret Gardens, to which it bears no relation apart from a slight similarity in title and perhaps in the case of this book a certain amount of timeliness as well. Um, I, I, before I start I want to thank, um, well I want to thank all the people who were um, thanks at the front of the book, many of whom couldn't be here, like Patience Thompson, who the book's dedicated to, who, who taught me to, to write for uh, reluctant readers when she first commissioned me to write a book uh, 12 years ago. Um, and um, the, the difference that, that, that Ross alluded to is that although this book, like many of my young adult books, has, has an interest age that's very much 13 plus, it has a reading age um, of uh, seven or eight, which is um, a skill that I found in myself with a lot of help from, um, from patients whose uh, name um, 
also fits with her work as an editor, <laughs> as you might imagine. And um, I'd like to thank also all the anonymous uh, child readers uh, from Brighton Stoke who test read this for me and I'd like to thank Bee uh, over there and her son Reuben uh, who, did, who did the same in Nottingham um, and I think that's everybody except of course for Sue who, without, whose um, enthusiasm for allotments uh, when we took on the allotment first sharing uh, the one in Hunger Hill Gardens where, um, where I dreamed up this story uh, and then, of course, this one here, which is 95% her work, as I'm sure oh, most of you have gathered. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it really is uh, it's great to see um, so many of you here. This is a really important book for me. Um, I, I first got the idea for this book back in 2002, 2003, when we took on the allotment in Hunger Hill Gardens. And, uh, and nobody was, was interested in publishing it then. Uh, allotments weren't sexy at the time. I want to be the now extremely sexy in publishing terms and people kept saying oh there are already loads of books about asylum seekers around we don't need one more but I kept pressing it it was only really about two years ago that I realized that I, I developed enough skills to tell but it's actually quite a long complex story this is a very big book for reluctant readers and it's also one I hope will reach more widely around to um, readers of uh, all sensibilities and ages I'm going to get on because uh, the brain's <laughs> starting to pick up So it's, it's a great delight to, to have it out now. It's about Azim, who's a 15-year-old lad who, um, his country of origin is never quite, um, it's, it's never quite settled, it's probably Iraq. Uh, and Nadima, the girl from the um, Ivory Coast who's three years younger, who's been trafficked and is working as a virtual slave on the Woodborough Road. And I'm just going to read you one paragraph before we go inside uh, and have some of the many splendid cakes that have been made. So this is, this is, um, this is from towards the end of the book uh, and it's where Nazim is about to maybe go on the run again and the person who's refused to help him asks him a question. Will you be safe, she says. I mean, if they send you back to your own country. I don't know, I say. Why did you come here? Were you escaping something? Or did you come for a better life? She doesn't want me to tell her a story that will make her feel bad. I can tell. She doesn't really want to know. Everyone wants a better life, I reply. Don't you? Thanks very much for coming. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do feel free to wander around, and if you've got any questions about the allotment, do come and ask me.